Are we ready? Ready. Felix, you give the signal. So, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we had a meeting here of the Azmio La Omoja One Kenya Coalition Summit. We have deliberated a number of pertinent issues. And we have a statement which is going to be read on our behalf by Honorable Eugene Wamalwa. Uh, thank you very much, Your Excellency. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a press statement by Azmio La Umoja, One Kenya Coalition Party. Azmio leadership and our delegation to the bipartisan talks uh, had a meeting today, and we received a progress report on the talks and events leading to the decision by our team to declare a statement and suspend the talks. The meeting discussed in detail the continuing attacks on Azmio La Umoja by Kenya Kwanza, despite our protests and express provisions of the Constitution. A number of issues emerged. First, the talks appear to have proceeded well until yesterday when our delegation tried to move into substantive issues. As Kenyans are aware, our substantive issues remain as follows. One, immediate steps to lower the cost of living. We dare add that cost of living has acquired more urgency in light of the finance bill, the continued rise in the cost of basics like unga, sugar, and fuel, the continuing fall of the Kenya shilling, and the new raft of taxes that the Kenya Kwanza administration is determined to push down the throats of suffering Kenyans. Two, the audit of IEBC election servers. Three, restructuring and reconstitution of IEBC. Four, an end to the efforts by Kenya Kwanza to incapacitate, kill, or take over other political parties. We hasten, we hasten to add that the desire to kill political parties goes beyond the attacks going on and include efforts by the Kenya Kwanza regime to deny funding to Azimio affiliated political parties. It is a standard procedure that for any team of negotiators to delve into substantive issues, they need to agree to take some preliminary steps that preserve the substantive matters. Going by these established principles in negotiations, our delegation asked that there be some preliminary actions on the cost of living, agree to the preservation of the IEBC servers in light of the fact that we have asked for an audit of the same, suspension of the selection panel of IEBC in light of the fact that it is an agenda of the talks, and cessation of Kenya Kwanzaa invasion of Azmio as talks go on. Unfortunately, our team met resistance, hostility, and outright rejection on all the desired preliminary actions. Kenya Kwanza could not commit to stop the invasion of Jubilee, preservation of the servers, interim measures at reduction of cost of Unga, and suspension of the process of hiring new IABC commissioners. In other words, Kenya Kwanza wants to continue with the measures that make cost of living even more expensive. They want to interfere with IEBC servers, proceed with the picking of IEBC commissioners, and continue invading Azmio uh, parties. 
our delegation therefore came to the decision that if the interim measures uh, cannot be guaranteed, there would be no need to move into substantive issues. The framework agreement that set up the talks provides for a seven-day suspension of the talks in the event of a stalemate. And our delegation proceeded to invoke this provision. If at the end of the seven days we will not be able to resume the talks, the talks will be considered to have collapsed. A number of other issues have emerged from the talks. One is that the Kenya Kwanzaa side is essentially uh, several teams in one. The members are answering to different bosses and are not moving in the same direction. They are getting different instructions and are clearly pulling in different directions. Secondly, Kenya Kwanzaa has no clear direction on whether the talks should proceed or not. Deliberately, they have no clear direction from Mr. William Ruto on how to proceed. Three, Kenya Kwanzaa sees the talks as a process of managing the political situation, calming down the political temperatures, and continue with business as usual. Fourth, the destabilization of the Jubilee Party is a do-or-die agenda, sponsored by the high highest level of Kenya Kwanzaa leadership, whose aim is to ensure Kenya Kwanzaa obtains a super majority in parliament and amends the constitution, removes presidential term limits, abolishes devolution, and removes the independence of constitutional commissions and places them as part of the presidency. Kenya Kwanzaa also wants to remove the necessity of parliament approving every tax measures and wants to give the president power to impose some taxes without always having to go through the finance bill for every increase. In light of the above, we state as follows. One, we endorse the decision by our delegation to walk out of the talks. Until Kenya Kwanzaa agrees to deal with the interim issues raised by the team, the talks will remain suspended. Two, the issue of opening the servers, cost of living, cessation of attacks on Jubilee and other political parties are not negotiable. Three, we recognize the resolutions of our affiliate party, Jubilee, reached at the party's special national delegates convention, including the change of leadership, which must be taken as final. We demand that these resolutions be respected and enforced by the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties. Four, Kenya Kwanzaa must make no mistake that Azimio will do everything possible to protect its affiliate parties from these heinous attacks. We ask all Kenyans to join us in protecting multi-party democracy for which many Kenyans lost their lives. Five, all Jubilee Party members of parliament who have crossed the floor and joined Kenya Kwanzaa must go for by elections. Those who hold their positions by virtue of their nomination by Azimio must have their nominations revoked. The Registrar of Political Parties, Mrs. Anne Deritu, must leave office in view of clear manifestations that she has been co-opted into partisan and illegal schemes by Kenya Kwanzaa to cripple instead of protecting political parties. Anderitu no longer enjoys the confidence of her clans who are political parties and whom, whom by her mandate she is supposed to strengthen, not to weaken as she is doing. The meeting resolved and has given authority to our team in the bipartisan talks to issue a notice of dissolution of the talks in the event that Kenya Kwanzaa will not publicly accede to the interim measures within six days in line with the provisions of the framework agreement. This notice ends on Tuesday next week. Thereafter, the Azimio co Coalition 
will communicate our next course of action at our PG next week on Tuesday. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, and then this Friday, the Azmio leadership has been invited by uh, the leader of the Waipa Democratic Movement, His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, to a meeting in Yata. So we will start on Friday in Ukambani, where we'll gather as the Azimio family, and we want to thank His Excellency for hosting us. Then on Tuesday again, we will meet and make a major statement. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Uh, just two questions. Number one, you're calling for the implementations of the resolutions of the NDC of the Jubilee Party, but the ORPP said yesterday that the NEC meeting that constituted the, the NDC was not proper because of quorum. So <coughs> how will you ask for that? Number two, there is this uh, sugar issue, and uh, there have been talks about there are some people, top government officials who are involved in it, do you know who these people are or as in your oversight role? Thank you. Thank you. I think it is important to let the public know <coughs> that the special delegates, uh, special national delegates conference that we had at Gong Lace Course on Monday, the 22nd, was convened by the party leader, His Excellency Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Our party constitution does not require a neck resolution for the party leader to convene the NDC. So we see the register of political party on a very interesting uh, mission here to hunt for reasons to just kill political parties in this country. Clearly, we saw her backdating letters issuing letters like the letters that she is trying to use to justify her, her cause are dated 19th and when we ask her she said she had delivered the letters through the email and you can easily you know when you want to lie you need to do some uh, homework this is a printout of the time and the date the email was sent and I can read it for you the email was sent on the 22nd of May, that is Monday, at 8 o'clock in the night, after the NDC, but the letter is dated 19th of May, last week. I got the physical copy yesterday when I went to her office. This is just one of the examples of how she has continued to misuse the office and... Uh, you know, execute other mandates other than what was given to her. <coughs> the letter that she is trying to quote was, was sent to her by Kanini, Ke Kanini Kegega. And Kanini has no, is a, is a stranger to the whole of this thing as an acting SG. But cleverly, because they are now agents of destruction, actually really playing the role of undertakers of political parties. She replies to Kutuni the Deputy Secretary General. So she is the one trying to sanitize uh, this uh, invasion to political parties. And I agree and want to say that if we do not rise up as Kenyans, this may be the head of even new people coming to cover an, an alternative view to that of a government. It, it took the rights of people for you to be there listening to us as a voice of the voiceless. Well Remind them the court stayed. And again, the high the court the court stayed any attempt to stop the ndc and the order was served on the uh, registrar in good time by the way the order was served on her physically before she even acted on the letters that she is purporting to do falsifying doc government documents is a criminal offense mm -hmm. and this lady is clearly guilty of criminal offense. She has continued to falsify those documents and that is what has sustained this unnecessary coup attempt that you see that I've become part of entertainment every day. I thank you. The issue of sugar? Uh, 
Thank you very much. I've been asked to respond to the issue of uh, sugar and other scandals. Uh, as you know, uh, during our campaigns, we did uh, warn Kenyans that our opponents have a history, and their history is known right from the YK92 days, the days of corruption and mega scandals are back in Kenya. And we started with the fertilizer scandal. We now have the sh poison sugar scandal. We have the nets, mosquito nets, Kemsa. And we have uh, the tractors from Belarus. That uh, is another scandal in the making in the transport sector. Today, we were just addressing ourselves to the immediate changes that have taken place. But on Tuesday, we will be addressing matters, corruption substantively, and also attempts by Kenya Kwanzaa to kill political parties. And not just political parties and killing multi-party democracy. Kenya Kwanzaa wants to kill devolution. As we speak, I heard Governor Kahiga of Nyeri saying on Friday, he'll be, he'll be shutting down. Where is this money going? So this is a, a, a matter that we'll be addressing substantively on a Tuesday. For today, we wanted to focus on the changes that have taken place, and the talks remain suspended until Tuesday when we make a further statement. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. A, 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 and also we want to uh, say this uh, to the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. They have to stop this politics of intimidation. They have started targeting and arresting Azimio supporters. We had a young man, Gaucho, the one that my uh, successor at the Ministry of Defense said he's such a, a lowly bastard who should not be seen with great leaders. And uh, uh, it was a shame for President Uhuru to work with uh, a chokora like Gaucho. But these are the real hustlers who are taken for a ride by the hustlers in State House who cannot now work with them. And today, Gaucho, as we speak, was arrested after he made a statement at the Jubilee NDC. From yesterday, he's been in custody. As we live here, we want to follow up to ensure he's released today. Maina Njenga, just because he came out to support Raila Odinga, he went all the way uh, to Njambini. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. tried to arrest him, and from yesterday, they have arrested him as we speak. He's in Nakuru today trying to get back his freedom. We want to say no to intimidation and police harassment. They said they will not criminalize the uh, justice uh, 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 criminal system. That's exactly what they're doing. And we want to urge our police to stop being misused by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. Asante Nisa. Thank you.